Ah, Marcus Conti reporting. Nice uh, overcast day. Check for the chemtrails. Ooh, chemtrails. <laughs> Let's look out over the horizon. Ah, you see the horizon? Flat Earth. <laughs> it bends. That is the Earth flat. That's what fucking people say. Man. That's what fucking. I don't know, man. But you can see the bend. You can see the bend. Right? If you get out into nature, you find out these things. So, uh, Marcus Conti reporting. Do a little piece on... Um, start off with a story. About 10 years ago, right? 10 years ago, uh, in a quest to understand myself a little better, to understand mind and body, right? To to know, to 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 self-medicate without drugs. I uh, I explored the idea of meditation, sitting on a cushion, and focusing all your attention on something minute like breath, or bodily sensation, or flow of thought. And as a way to strengthen the mind, instead of, you know, escapism into drugs, for example, I discovered something profound, you know, that that the the greatest the greatest anesthetizers, the greatest relaxers, are are within us. If you go, you focus within, right? And also what I discovered is the profound uh, nature of suffering. Uh, uh, the the um, nature of suffering. What the hell am I talking about? The nature of suffering, of discontent, not feeling, you know, not feeling right in your own skin. Uh, consciousness. Uh, all sitting on a cushion. All sitting there, just, just, just trying to focus on, a, on, on, on not suffering, not thinking about myself, trying to quiet the thoughts down, sitting on that cushion, right? And from there, I extended it out to all beings, not just humans. The people around me were experiencing the same thing, and I realized that, that people are, are way more the same than they are different. And right, because everybody's suffering with the same thought process, and then I realized that that you can also extend it to the uh, to all creatures, to all to all you know all beings. It's a lot of people on the path today. Kind of throws off my stride. <laughs> Isolationist. So anyway, I want to talk about um, Beyond Meat and, um, and um, oh yeah, so I didn't finish the story. <laughs> so what I realized is that, is that just as humans suffer, humans suffer suffering, there's also, there's also animal suffering. Right? That we're not, we're not that far off from being a pig, if you know what I mean. Or a dog. We have the same, you know, same, same, same nose, same eyes, same breath, same, same lungs, same desire to eat, same sexual desires, same, very, very same. Maybe we're slightly smarter than a pig in that <clears throat> we can figure out a way to get a joystick and, a, and, a, and an iPad and, a, and an iPod and a fucking iPhone. But outside of that, we're not that different, is what I'm trying to say. Okay. And I started to see the suffering of the animals, and I became a vegan. I started to watch the slaughterhouse videos, and I watched how the pigs were pushed into the slaughter line, the cows pushed into the slaughter line, with their friends before them and their friends after them dying in, in, a, in a line. Okay. Whether they're, whether they're humanely treated up to that point, it doesn't matter because 
the betrayal and the violence that goes into the manufacturing of meat is inescapable in my view. And that that, that, that violence, I, I realize also, is contained in the product that you eat. Now we see the nice little meat, you know, the nice little neatly wrapped meat, right? the nice little butcher in the white suit. Right? When you go to the butcher, right, or you see the meat nice and stacked, you don't see the dead animal. You don't hear the animal screaming. All you see is the, the product. Right? But, but, but rest assured, that violence, that corruption, that suffering is, is in the product. It, it's, it's inescapable. I mean, hormone levels, you know, escalate when something's about to die. You feel it in your own body. So that brought me to, to the, the, the inescapable truth that we are not that far different or far removed from the species that we choose to eat. And that it's all in completely unnecessary. Uh, and the only thing that was holding me back, the only thing that, that prevented me from, from becoming a vegan was, well, the, the idea that, oh, vegan diet is inferior. Now, I, if, you know, if you follow this channel, you know that in the 80s, out of college, I was a clinical nutritionist. I was a clinical dietitian, right, in, a, in nursing homes and hospitals, right? So I have a bachelor's degree in nutrition, and I understand this stuff, right? And years and years of, of doing it on my own. I ran a marathon. I ran over that bridge, New York City Marathon. I had once in the 80s. So I know a lot about it and I realized that it wasn't a health issue. That sustainable proteins are in everything, right? Protein, complete proteins are contained in all foods. You just have to take a minute to learn about it. Not long, maybe a week. And then you, you'll understand, even the novice, right? So, but the inescapable one, it wasn't, for me, it wasn't health. It was, it was the suffering of those animals that I had, that once it, once it occurred to me, I couldn't go back. Right? There's still no going back. There's no way that I could ever, you know, do that again, you know? Find it? Find what? I don't know. What are you looking for? I don't know. What are you looking for? What's your name, man? What's that? What's your name? I'm Jeff. Hey, Jeff. It's a YouTube channel. I'm talking about. Uh, I'm talking about right now. I'm talking about vegan burgers. Are you a vegan? No. I like meat. Red meat. You like red meat? Why do yeah. you like red meat? I've been eating it since I've been uh, a kid. You know, it just tastes good to me. You know, put it on a barbecue. It tastes fantastic. Right. So. Are you a vegan? Yeah, I am. About I, I became about ten years ago. Uh -huh. I'm just doing a little uh, blog right now on Beyond Meat and Impossible Foods. Uh huh. I haven't gotten into it. I was just telling my story about um, about uh, becoming a vegan. And I do this all the time. I do a lot of subjects, but just today is... Uh, well, it's very is, hot now. I guess it was an IPO uh, last week or two weeks ago. Yeah, so yeah, that's what we're talking Beyond about. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Beyond Meat, it went to $96 and all. So so you wouldn't consider it... Did you ever consider the uh, the suffering of the animals? No, I don't. Do you ever watch a pig get slaughtered? No, I never watch a pig get slaughtered. Do you ever pet a cow? Look, I mean, you know, I've never been in war either. I think it's terrible. You can think something's terrible and still... Right. You know what I mean? It, it happens in our world. It happens in our world. Yeah. We, people have been eating meat for tens of thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of years. You right. Know? I mean, right. it's only maybe the last hundred years that they've turned it into a cuisine, quote unquote. Right, right, right. Yeah, no doubt. I, I mean, I think we're also detached because we're in the city. Oh, absolutely. And, and so we I'm don't, looking we don't... for a buried treasure, right? So take a look for something called The Secret Online, okay? The Secret Online, okay. Right. Well, it's not The Secret Online. Go ahead, online. plug it. It's what, what the a... secret. No, it's not that has to do with me. This okay. guy wrote a book back in 1980 yeah. where he buried 12 casks of jewels around the country. Wow. And then there are verses that go with actual pictures that he had painted, which are published in the book. Right, and right. one of them are supposed to be here in Bay Ridge. Are you from Bay Ridge? Uh, I grew up in Staten Island and uh, I live here now. Yeah. Okay, so one of them supposedly, if you do your research, yeah. is buried here in Bay Ridge. Wow. So take a look for it, brother. And good luck with your podcast. Good talking to you. Thank you, man. That was an interesting guy. <laughs> well, listen, if you find that treasure, you look me up and we'll, uh, we'll do another podcast. I'll check out podcast. <laughs> so anyway, so, so, yeah, it's on my hat. You read the hat, Marcus Conti. Just go to YouTube and I'm, you'll, you can't, you can't miss it. 
so anyway, so so that's an interesting study right there, right? A guy, a guy, you know, we're we're intelligent beings, right? Intelligent human says it's just part of life, right? You just eat the fucking animal, man. It's just, you know, what, what are you gonna do? I mean, it's, it's like war, right? It's necessary. I, I just fundamentally disagree. So let's talk about the um, the plant-based alternatives, right? So there's Beyond Meat ticker symbol B B Y N D. You can check it out if you want, right? It's mostly a a pea protein, uh, protein based. They use beets for blood, ooh, and uh, coconut oil and safflower oil to make it make it drip, right? Like it's sim- sim- simulated hamburger, right? And uh, I, I haven't tried the Impossible Impossible Foods burger. That's the one that they're that they're selling off to uh, Burger King, right? Um, but I have tried the Beyond Meat. I tried it this weekend, right? I had a sausage, and it was good, man. It, I mean, it, it it was it wasn't the you know the flattened out you know f- you know flattened falafel fucking taste and bullshit from years ago. They actually made it where it really. I mean, I made like an Italian Italian sauce and put it in there as if it were the sausage, and it was pretty good, man. It tasted it tasted good. It had a good mouth feel, right? Right? And, and no animals are harmed in the whole process, right? It's just, it's just, you can do it, right? So the, so let's just talk about the stock and the, the possibility of it really catching on, right? We're still at 3% vegan in America. I think the highest vegan population is, um, is actually Israel. I think they have like 25%. But the, um, so... So beyond, let's talk about Beyond Meat and then Impossible Foods. They're two different companies. Beyond Meat just went public. The IPO was twenty-five dollars. It aired at sixty-seven on the first day. It went as high as ninety-six. <clears throat> two hundred fifty-seven employees, based in California, trading right now at eighty-nine dollars a share. Right. Has a market cap five billion dollars. Right. Still unprofitable. Right. But that's in the in the age of you know. Trumpism and the age of corporatization where you don't have to have a profit, right? Because you're going to write off all your profit anyway. So you don't want to have a profit so you don't pay tax, right? So so that's beyond meat, right? And it's trading now and people are, Wall Street kind of likes it, right? And Bill Gates got a little bit of both. They have deals with uh, TGI Friday and um, Carl Jr., now, Impossible Foods I haven't tried yet, but it looks pretty good, right? It's a burger. It's a juicy burger. It's starting to rain a little bit. I'm trying to stay out of the rain. All right, it's a juicy little burger, right? And uh, that's a publicly, that's a privately tra- uh, private, privately held right now. No PI, OPI, IPO. Uh, Two billion market cap. They have deals with Burger King and Red Robin. They use a Hemming brew something, right? The innovative ways of making food, right? And, um, right, so I haven't tried that one yet, but it's pretty good, right? Now, there's also another alternative if you're thinking about health for food, right? When you, I mean, the human beings, we're, we're extincting the planet. That's not, that's inescapable, right? Right, there's, we're down, there was a million species extinct recently. I just did that report. All right, we're going to be down to just human animals and the animals humans eat, which are cows, chickens, pigs, tortured creatures, right? All tortured, all, especially the factory farming, you know, that goes on, right? And maybe we can end that. Maybe this is a sign that we're, we're as human beings, we're ready to end this, this insanity, right? Also, African swine flu, right, is a problem right now because in China... China puts out, I think, four and a half times more pigs than the United States. And, and, and China, the, the, you know, the regulations there are, are little to none, really, when you think about it. Right? So uh, African swine fever uh, wiped out about a third of Chinese uh, pigs. So if you should eat that before, before, you know, before it's your time, you might just, it might just be your time. So... That's one reason to think about becoming a vegan for your own sake, right? Well, so, um, so, so can Tyson Food, I'm sorry, can, 
Im impossible food and and beyond meat actually make a run at the meat market will meat eaters eat it I think so I mean I think the vegans are are slam dunk on this right but but um, what else did I want to say about that before the rain <laughs> the rain really gets me over here I go over to this other tree so right so what I wanted to say in finality is that Tyson food right is a big meat maker the big the big meat conglomerates right and they're not gonna buy into beyond food beyond meat and and the impossible impossible foods right they're gonna make their own is what I'm trying to say right so so don't get too hung up on on these stocks as viable stocks is what I'm trying to say but man the pigs and the chickens and the cows they love it man the more the more impossible meat the better right even though if the stocks themselves aren't great investments at this time they could be well while I'm watching beyond meat at 96 the high of 96 it could go you know you never know we don't know yet right? but it's definitely a uh, it's a it's a giant step for humanity right it's a giant step for humanity. I mean, is the are the are, the, are, are, are planes flying overhead poisoning us? Is the Earth flat? Right? Do we really go to the moon? I don't know. I mean, there's there's question marks there. But do animals suffer at the hand of humans who eat them? That's an absolute. The the answer is absolutely yes. All creatures shake at violence. They all cringe and and recoil at the show of violence uh, and you know as a as a human as a human species we can't we, that's it's becoming inescapable clean energy stop killing stop stop mistreating fellow creatures let them live out their lives uh, Marcus Conti reporting <laughs>